if you have participated in the Shuar Early Access Beta, and if you happen to use Overlay Program to watch your PC status, you probably notice that your Overlay Program gets disabled after a few minutes of gameplay. This has happened to many other players across different forums. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can keep your overlay running on your screen at all time. I use MSI Afterburner RTSS for my on-screen display. This is how it looks like in game. So on the top left hand corner here, you can see all these numbers going status of my CPU and GPU. So what happened was that in the game engine, it's a weird behavior that the game engine itself resets periodically. I believe it is when resource tweaks. So during the process, it kills the direct 3D tool and recreates it over and over again. That process also queues overlay and that's why it's disappearing after a few minutes of gameplay. Afterburner and this is our DSS. First, we want to make sure that we do not set any hotkeys for toggling on the screen display on and off. Make sure everything is done here. Then, in the RTSS, you want to create D2R profile. So on your screen there, you probably only see global. This is a default setting for all applications. What you want to do is click on app, go to your D2R folder, click on game icon, and then press open. By doing that, you will have this game.exe. Next. Go to your MSI Afterburner folder, find your RTSS folder, and here click on Profiles, and you will see the game.exe file you just created. So you're going to need to modify this file. If you're opening for the file for the first time, Open with and choose Notepad or here in the drop down menu. Find Notepad and OK. And then this is what's inside the file. We're keeping everything the same, but we're adding one line. This highlighted line is not in the file. We're going to need to add this in between renders direct 3D tool and then implementation equal to. I will put this line in the video description so you can copy and paste right here. After doing that, file. Save. And that's it. Okay, so if you find this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you would like to find out more about how I group my on screen display, please leave a comment. Thank you. Enjoy your day.